hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl lizzie so i came across this trending hairstyle on tiktok and i decided to make it and show you guys how i was able to do it using this lush hair extension and this is a kinky um extension if you're watching me for the first time and this video helps you in any way please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and share i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for 19,000 subscribers it has been an amazing journey i do not take you guys for granted and i pray and hope that in due time i'm able to achieve more may god continue to bless all of you so first off i sectioned the hair and then i went in with my edge control and i sectioned the hair again as you can see me do in the video next off i divided my hair into three legs like this and I started braiding so you have to braid to an extent like you're trying to do a knotless braid braid like six seven times before you go in with your extension so I went in with my extension about three times I saw some persons making this hair without adding any kind of length to their hair but as you can see in the video my hair is really really short and I wouldn't be able to achieve this style conveniently without adding length to my hair and that was why i went to get this kinky um extension and the reason i love this particular extension a lot is because it looks so much like our natural hair especially black women it just curls your hair up a little bit and makes it look so much like your natural hair so i had to braid until i reached the end of the extension and this is what i have as you can see in the video i have a mirror right in front of me and i have a very tiny broken one right behind me that's what i usually use to see my back and also see my front so i'm basically going to repeat the same thing all over again make sure that your grip is firm and tight although not too tight so that you can easily breathe yes so make sure that your grip you have a very very nice grip game so once you're done just add your extension and keep adding add like three or two times but like i said before it's not really necessary especially if you have a long hair yes it's not necessary i only did this because i needed um length in my hair so to add length to my hair i used half pack of this lush extension just to add length but for everything i used one and a half pack to achieve this particular style so if you're not going to add length to your hair you can use just one pack and you are good to go so again i'm just going to section my hair again making sure that the lines are neat and then go in with my edge control it's not really compulsory for you to use an edge control but i felt like it was going to make my lines come out really really neat so i had to hold the rest of my hair with rubber band because since it's short it's going to interfere with the rest of the hair so i had to hold it up a little bit and then i started braiding again so this is just me basically repeating the same step over and over again until i'm done with the whole hair now before i go on i really want to give credit to the lady that started this particular trend on tiktok and i'm just going to write her name on the screen here so that you guys can see i don't know if this particular hairstyle was in existence before she did but I noticed that it was after she did it that it started going viral. So I'm just going to give her her credit. She is really, really good and you can follow her on TikTok as well. I really don't know if she has a YouTube channel, but I know her from TikTok. You can follow her on TikTok. She's really, really good. So I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this video until it's necessary for me to come back right in again. But basically guys, this is just me repeating the same step and showing you guys how to grab your hair properly when you are braiding on yourself.
I started this particular hairstyle at about 1 p.m. in the afternoon on this particular day and when it was about 6 p.m. I stopped because I usually use natural lightning in shooting my hair videos since I usually do them at home I don't come home with any kind of artificial light and all so I have to continue the next day I had to continue making the hair the next day so this was the next morning and I had to do the rest of the hair off camera because it was me basically repeating the same process over again so what I did for the next step was to divide my hair extension into two and I used a crochet pin to add the extension to my hair like this and all I did was to just pass the hair extension through the crochet pin and then once I did that I created a loop and passed the hair extension through the loop again and then I divided the hair extension into two like this and started twisting loosely I did not make it tight at all if you tighten it up it's going to form a twist so you just want the hair to be a little bit loose but still cute actually so this is what i'm going to do for the rest of my hair there are actually two ways that you can do this after adding your hair extension create the loop like i said before and once that is done divide your hair into two like this merge just the twist that you have done together twist or make it very after very adding loose, your hair make sure extension that it's tight um, and loose. making your twist and you can just that pull is done the as hair well. up you can just use your I'm going to show you guys the twist what that you have done together so that everything that. looks really really nice the second one is after dividing your hair extension into two make your twist like this just like we've been doing and once you're done making your twist once you're done making your twist just use the strands at the end of the extension to pull the hair up a little bit i actually did prefer this particular one and this was what i did for the rest of the strands that i had left so i just used the end of the hair extension pulled it up a little bit and i was able to achieve this cute style that you're seeing here so basically i'm going to repeat the whole step for the rest of the hair so i'm just going to let you guys enjoy again until it is necessary for me to come back right up now before i go make sure that the length of the hair um, are equal for all of them make sure that they are equal just so that everything can come out nice and clean so make sure that you trim the ends of the hair so that it can be equal also please do not forget to hit the subscribe button like and share if this video helps you in any way at all
at this point guys i was really really feeling the hair because the lines were really really cute like the camera really did not even do justice to what i had done the partitioning was nice the lines were cute and the hair was really really giving i liked how it looked on my face i got lots and lots of compliments and i enjoyed every bit of this particular tutorial so you can style yours up any way that you deem it fit it mustn't necessarily be exactly like what i did in this video i loved it a lot and i hope that when you do yours it's going to come out better and cuter than mine so i had to go in with my above oil sheen to oil it up and to give it a little bit of shine and you could actually go in with your mousse as well to make it shine better but i was okay with what i had thank you guys so much for watching this video i do hope that this tutorial has been helpful if it has please don't fail to hit the subscribe button like and share i remain your girl please and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye